assuming. Yeah, I got a PS5, got an Xbox. I'm a PS5 type of person, though. What's the like? What's the best thing about the PS5? Because I haven't had. I've been ha- I've been having an Xbox, but I wanted to get the five. I just feel like Xbox people that play Xbox is a little weird. They're a little off. You know what I mean? <laughs> like usually, like normal people play PS5. So if you're a normal person, Jazz. I suggest you get your PS5. I don't get your Xbox. You know the last one I had was 360, though. Like, I was like, I'm old. Like, I look young, you know. I got color hair and stuff, but I'm older. So, I had that 360. Guess. 25. 27. Okay. Close. Yeah, Black I'm don't crack. Black don't crack. It show don't. It show don't. But we got to get into talking about you and the music and everything. So I know people are like, what y'all talking about? But, um... So I know you got something new that's dropping this Friday. What can you tell us about that? Oh, yeah. Before our no cap, 226. I ain't telling what the song is yet, but it's a music video coming out. It's a feature on it. It's going to be lit. We finna turn up. And D4R stands for what? Die for Respect. That's the name of my project. That's the name of the whole project? Mm-hmm. Die for Respect. And you're working Place. with OG Parker, right? Yeah, it's me and OG Parker Tate. The whole thing? Yeah, it's like a, um, you know, you know, how Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin did they take? Yeah, it's like that. But it's me, and OG Parker. Dope. And this is not y'all's first time working together either. Nah, we worked in the past, but this is our first time like working close like this. So you know, he produced everything on the on the tape. Do you have any features on it? A lot. Can you tell us any? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming up. You about to see it in a minute. I can't. I don't want to spoil it now. You know what I'm saying? I, it's very exciting, though. I think everybody is gonna very. They're gonna really, really enjoy it, and I'm extremely excited. Um, this is about to be the turning point in my career. You know, I just got warmed up off one song. I'm gonna see how they act with eleven of them. You know what I mean? So, so I'm okay, shooting videos about... all. The... Go ahead, go ahead. I'm shooting videos of all of them too, so they're gonna get. Oh, Every single one? Yeah, that's the goal. What about the people that's on it, though, the features? Are you going to shoot the videos with them? Of course. Of course. Hmm. I'm seeing some 42 Doug in the in the comments, just some speculations. But I don't know. What, I mean, I would I would like to hear that, though. God, you tell me, Jazz. <laughs> we got to talk about Moonwalking, though, because obviously the song went crazy and took off. Did you expect for that song to be, like, as popping as it was? Or were you actually thinking that, you know, this project coming out was going to be the one? I mean, this project wasn't even thought of when Moonwalking came out, to be honest. Like, I was just, I was last year, I was just on some, like, man, I ain't waiting on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, a lot of people think when they get signed, oh, you made it. It's not that. Like, when you sign, you still got to move like you're independent. So 2020, I was moving like I was an independent artist. So I just, I was just dropping music. And then Moonwalking was one of those ones. Like, when I was riding the car, I listened to my own music all the time. And when I was riding around, I was like, damn, this shit is hard. What the fuck? (laughs) But I kept listening to it over and over and over and over again. I'm like, this is a song that I haven't got bored of. I listen to my own shit to see if I get bored of it. Yeah. Never got bored of it. I was like, all right. Well, we on this song now because I was shooting videos and everything. I'm like, okay, let's drop this joint. Drop that joint. Everybody was rocking with it. Oh, this shit hard. Blah, 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 blah. It was just me on it, though. And then Blueface hit me up and he was like, man, let me remix it. Put it up to the studio. He did the remix right then and there. And then he leaked the whole song the next day. And I'm like, man, why you do that? So I was like, fuck, let me go ahead and just throw it on SoundCloud so people can just at least listen to it because you know I already showed people your whole verse. So, um, did that blah 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 then we ended up getting it on Apple Music and Spotify and all that mm-hmm. you know it was doing what it do but the videos what made it go out the way so and yeah, what about when YG hopped on it like every you had so many different remixes to it yeah I got about got about four <laughs> Is there, are there any more coming out or that's it no that's it I'm done I'm done okay, that's it I know I got an it's an EDM mix out I saw that one too. I was like, hold up. Listen, listen, listen. People are saying, wait, your comments are going crazy. Somebody said that NBA Young Boy is going to be on there. Confirm or deny? You never know. <laughs> With me, that you means, never know. That means yes, because you, if it wasn't true, you would have told us that it wasn't true. Nah, I don't, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not telling you yes or no to any features. I just want people to just see. You know what I'm saying? A super surprise. Yeah, that's all. I, I just want people to just be surprised and and excited 
Mm-hmm. And I want people to just, I want it to be a moment. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I don't want to get no hints. Leave where it's at. I feel you. But Friday is coming out. D four R, right? I can't do yeah, nothing. Not the whole I'm tape. Not, not the whole tape. Just just one song. Just leading the single. Then we're gonna trickle up. The whole tape. No, I'm just saying, I'm just warming them up. I'm warming them up. That's all. Oh. The tape okay. coming next month though. I can tell you that it's coming okay. next month. Yeah, yeah, it's coming next month. Just not. Cause it's it, done, right? Like you already know. Yeah, it's done. To do. Yeah, everything's done. Like I got cover art, everything, everything's done. It's already ready to go, turned in everything, but I I'm dropping pre-orders this Friday. So everybody, everybody needs to make sure they pre-order. Everybody watching this, I know you got ten dollars, or at least you got your mama credit card. <laughs> your mama credit card, you know iTunes and buy that for me. You buy the tape, it. and the ten dollars goes a long way because I know artists like streaming is like cents and cents and cents but buying the music really matters and makes a difference yeah, it ain't about the money I'm just trying to get a good first week number that's all yeah for sure and you have your own label too right yep Zooted Zooted Music Zooted what made you want to start your own label I just feel like I'm in a position where I can help a lot of people out you know I got a I got a very very strong fan base or family yeah. base I like to call them family I yeah. got a very, very strong family base you know what I mean and mm-hmm. I like to uh you know, I'm, I'm very knowledgeable. Um, I understand the game. Like, I study the business, you know what I mean, and all that. So I'm like, let me just start my own label, so. And speaking of starting your own label, I know you, like, you know, you started, you were doing music for a while since you were younger and everything, and you were making YouTube videos and stuff. So, like, was it all the YouTube videos popping off that, like, made you want to be, like, take music more serious or what? Like, how did it come to for you? To be honest with you, mm-hmm. I started doing music because... YouTube had like a little ad crash where the money went down. I was like, damn, I wanted to do music anyway. Let me go ahead and try this shit. Because I'm like an adapter. Like if something happens that's a little shaky, yeah, I switch up quick. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh shit. Uh, music, money fucked up. I'm a rapper now. You know what I mean? New career time. So That's really what happened? That's what really happened. I be telling these lies, but that's what really happened, you know. There's what I'm no way like, your YouTube numbers are crazy on all. No, 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 no. Ain't that? It's no, no. It's not that. It's everybody. Money went down. Like YouTube had somebody. Let me tell you what happened. Somebody posted. Somebody was posting like weird. Somebody was buying weird ads on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. And it was like promoting like violence and all types of stuff. So a lot of advertisers pulled out of YouTube. So all the money went down. Like I'm talking about big advertisers. So how YouTube works. Advertisers buy into Google and then they play those ads on selected videos. Mm -hmm. So when you click on YouTube and the ad play, it's money. You know what I'm saying? But those advertisers pulled out. They're like, oh, y'all playing some crazy stuff on y'all stuff. So we're going to pull out. Everybody money went down. Everybody money. You can Google it. That really made me start music. I'm like, you know what? I'm This is a little shaky. I don't like this. So. Started yeah. music, but I always loved music. Like my dad was an engineer back at the crib. I got songs when I was like six years old. With my brothers and stuff like that. So, you know. Do you uh, still make music with your family? Yeah, my little cousin. Yeah, he signed to me. Oh, that's dope. What's your yeah. cousin's name? Payway To. Payway To. Mm-hmm. Okay, loved him. I'm gonna have to check him out too. Check um, him out. What else was I gonna ask you? There was something else. Um, 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 I forgot what you just said about, oh, about the YouTube and everything. So, like, did you, how do you keep up with making, like, vlog videos and having, like, you know, music videos and being a total artist? Because I still feel like you still have YouTube stuff going crazy. I'm not a YouTuber anymore, Jazz. But you just posted a video two days ago. I saw it. I mean, the <laughs> only, reason, only reason I'm posting videos is because I'm I'm trying to get people in it. I'm trying to get people to get it, you know what I'm saying? To- yeah, I'm trying to tell them, like, bro, listen, it's time. It's time for us to jump across this bridge. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm just giving them a couple little vlogs here and there, but like, realistically, like, I'm not on YouTube if I ain't posting three videos a day. Like, that's what I'll be on. I'll be posting two, three videos a day. But I don't do that. I took a whole six months off. When Moonwalking came out, I ain't post nothing. Okay. But what about your What about your following on YouTube though? They gonna they love me regardless. They love the music now. Like they don't even talk about videos. They say, Where's the album? That's what they 
that's what they ask me now. So they don't care about them blogs for real. They can watch me on Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, same difference. That's true. Yeah. Well, look, thank you so much for taking the time out after your massage. I know you're probably in your Zen energy. So we're going I wanna send that to you for the rest of the night. Have your relaxation vibes. Friday, D four R is coming out. The song and we song gonna- made a single. The single. This is the leading single. So, so this is gonna be the hardest song, in your opinion. I ain't even gonna say that. <laughs> you trying to set me up? I'm just letting you no, know. No, I'm the not whole, trying to set whole, you up. The whole tape is hard. Everything. Like it ain't just rap. It's, I'm singing on there too. Like I do it all. You know what I mean? So. So it's gonna check be it different out. vibes on it too. Yeah, yeah. Tap into it. It's it's gonna go crazy. I'm telling you. And who made up, this is my last question, who made up the D4R hand thing? Because I can't do it. I'm not even about to embarrass myself. I've been seeing it on TikTok going crazy. Like, who made it up? <laughs> Looking at him right now. I cannot, for the life of me, I don't understand, but I'm going to go do my homework and I'm going to figure it out. And we're all going to be listening to D4R on Friday. So thank you so much again, DDG, for taking the time out. And I'll see you the next time you're in Houston. Hopefully it'll be like next year. Yeah, sooner or later. I'm coming Bye. out there. No capper. <laughs> Ratio.